Hello folks, back again with more ancient cosmography. Um, so I've been studying like the, uh, studying the Lascaux famous scene, French cave paintings, you know, estimated to be about 20,000 years old. Some people say older, some people say younger. Um, so, and this is like the, the man, the kind of anthropomorph figure of the scene, <coughs> which is Papua. Certainly seems to be represent Papua. Um, you know, I learned about this system of maps from, uh, from the ancient Egyptians. And um, so, you know, like, can, if you, you know, if you wonder why I think these are maps in the first place, you can check out my book, uh, The Beautiful West. It's available, you know, you can just Google it, Google my name and The Beautiful West, and you can download it for free. And it, goes through the whole journey of how I figured out that the that ancient people created anthropomorphic and zoomorphic uh, avatars of islands and and that that was basically the main like the oldest uh, painted tomb in Egypt depicts that from 5,500 years old so we can only assume that, you know, I mean, that's basically the oldest cultural element of ancient Egypt or one of the oldest. So there's good reason to think it's much, you know, that it represents prehistory generally pretty well. And so I've been working on, you know, right here, there's behind this guy, there's a bird. Uh, this one I flipped it because in the actual thing, Papua, like they flip Papua and Australia. They have one of them flipped antipodally or um, retrograde. So I flipped the painting in this instance so I could show Papua as it truly is from a bird's eye view. But in a lot of the bigger comparisons I flipped Papua because so I could keep Australia at its true orientation you know that was that's something I eventually figured out from the Egyptians that it was quite common to uh, flip certain figures retrograde and um, so anyway this seems to be that uh, Bird. It's uh, Busuwanga Island here. And so just the way, you know, one reason I am pretty certain of this is because in the case of Papua, he's painted with two separated, delineated, uh, sometimes called beaks, you know, He's sometimes referred to as the bird man, so I'm not sure if he was intended to be a bird man or just a Neanderthaloid man or just or a Neanderthal with just a long nose. But you know, this peninsula itself is known as Bird Beak Peninsula, uh, you know, Birdhead Peninsula and Bird Beak Peninsula. So Birdhead represents the upper beak and bird beak represents the lower part of the beak so since that's quite accurate in that sense i figured this would be too because it shows it similarly shows two totally separated delineated beaks that just end uh, abruptly like that without touching each other so that's why um, you know, some of the other candidates for the, for this, 
you know, when I was trying to figure out which island that represents, that kind of discludes some of them because they don't have this a similar type of thing here. They don't you can't find two separate delineated uh, parts to represent uh, to be represented as upper and lower beaks. Whereas in this, you certainly do have that. You know, we have. Um, We have these two separate things, you know, like this peninsula and probably these islands in front of it as the upper beak, and then these islands down here as the lower beak. And, um, and even the way this is depicted supports that because the line like it doesn't really look like it's like somebody painted like a, a you know a, a connected line going to like a continuous line here it looks like there's this line and then there's this line so that f would fit for this being an actual separate island that's actually not even technically touching this although it's very close to that um, and the angle of it is good. There's nothing else that I've found that would support this sort of angle of a beak pointing down with the head, uh, you know, above it, um, sticking up out of the main body in this sort of a way. Not exactly sure, like, all the other details, like is this something here? Is this represent like some indent here? One of these bays. And in this, in in terms of the tail, is this, does the tail include this or is it just this? Could be that these one, two, three sections of the tail represent this this and this that like this part between is this bay right here this part between is this bay right here and that this part just kind of barely shows these guys as little slivers kind of coming up there kind of leaning towards that i don't know um but This is a close up. So I think this might be the eye. This is like the water between. Cause there's like a, a inlet or, you know, water that comes in this far here. Although the, there's still land here that connects this to this. But I think the water between is biggest right here. So I think that's the eye. Um, and yeah, this would be the upper beak would be this and these two islands I think and then the lower one is just this uh, these two islands here basically and, and then you know the fact that he's standing on a um, pole which has a point seemingly in like a barb on one side. Might even have something on the other side too here. But, you know, I was thinking there's a chance that relates to this island that's like just right above it, you know, like it's right here, just or just below. Um, Busuanga, there's this other island, uh, Col Coron, I think it means crown or whatnot, or head or something. And, um, and so even though it's not very long, there's a chance that somehow the, that this whole thing is just representing this little thing. I doubt it, but the thing that does support that or that would 
give credence to that is the fact that this has this point that, and then a barb sticking up to the side. And this kind of has the same shape, like a point, and then it kind of sticks up to the side there. So I don't know. So this is that point. And it really does look like that, you know, it's like a point and then it goes up to the side. So I don't know, but I still tend to think that that this represents the whole of Palawan because <clears throat> this is like a really long island and very distinctive and it's just next to this. Um, and this does somewhat have a somewhat comparable shape also at the end of Palawan. Not, I don't know if it's quite as perfect as this, but it's pointy and somewhat similar. So I'm still kind of leaning towards that. You know, Palawan is the largest island in the Palawan province in the Western Philippines. The capital, Puerto Princesa, is known for the biodiverse Puerto Princesa, a subterranean river national park where boats run along and, well, it's a subterranean river national park. That sounds dope. Anyway, so that's, so basically, Palawan is the the whole island. And then, yeah, this is part of Palawan province, but it's a separate island. Um, and... Let's see. This is just the... Uh, similarly barbed uh, spearhead that comes out of Australia here. You can barely see it right there because I didn't actually enlarge it in this photo since I didn't have room. But it's sticking out right there just at the same angle as it is there. It's these, uh, this island, really long island. There's a lot of these weirdly long islands around this area. Um... So like Palawan is really long. Palawan Island, 24 miles wide and 270 miles long. So that's a long island. Um, Palawan. Oh, my hands like. Uh, roaming the African Kala Kalawit Safari. So Kalawit is the island that is the top of the head of the Busuanga avatar, but it is attached to Busuanga by a narrow marshy isthmus. Even though it's 